Hello. I'm going to talk about how to get onto the new portal as well as Microsoft Multi-Factor Authentication or MFA. First thing we want to do is add the portal to Global Protect. So open up Global Protect. I go down here where it shows hidden icons and click on the globe. It's okay if you're connected. On the right hand side, there's a few lines. Click on those, settings, add. And we're going to add the new portal, which is vpn.perdocioed.com. Once again, vpn.perdocioed.com. Click on save. Close this. If you're connected to Global Protect, disconnect. If you're not connected to Global Protect, click on Global Protect. Look at the portal. There's a little drop down box. Click on that and change your portal to from whatever it was to vpn.perdocioed.com. Once you do that, a window will automatically pop up. It'll show up right away with your email address. If you have multiple uh, for the company or if you're with one of our acquisitions like Trident, make sure you're using the one for Perdocio. In this case, I'm going to use the Sandy email test. Click on that. It's going to ask for a password. Put your password in. Click on sign in. This window will pop up. This is going to be part of the two factor that you're going to need to do. Click on next. Now we have one of two ways of doing this. Number one, the recommended way is downloading the Microsoft Authenticator app onto your cell phone. The second way, if your phone is not capable of having an app or anything like that, uh, click on I want to use a different method. Choose your method, phone, hit confirm, put in your phone number, and your phone will send you a text. Again, the preferred method is using the Microsoft Authenticator app, and eventually the company will be switching to that. So I'm going to show you how to set that up right now. I'm going to go back to the original screen, go Authenticator app. So on your cell phone, go to the Play Store or whatever uh, iTunes or whatever your phone has. Let me make my phone a little bit bigger and download the Microsoft Authenticator app. That's what it looks like over here. It is a free download. If you have something that says to pay, do not pay for it. You're choosing the wrong one. Click on the Microsoft Authenticator app once it's on there. As you can see, I already use the Microsoft Authenticator app for several things, uh, my personal email address, my NAS, things like that. So I need to set up a new um, method. Let me go back to the screen share here. There we go. Now we can see both my phone and the screen. I'm going to click next because I already have it. Again, if you don't have it, download it. It is free. Right over here, it says, if prompted, allow notifications. Add account, select work or school. Since I already have several accounts on here, I'm going to add a new one. So I click on that little plus sign. That will show up. Work or school account. I'm going to click on that, and then it's going to show up saying scan QR code. Click next on your computer, and the QR code will show up. So on my cell phone, I'm going to click scan QR code, and I'm going to scan the code. Right off the bat, 
It says it was added successfully. I'm going to click next. It's going to say, let's try it out. It's going to come up asking to approve the sign in. Quickly click approve. Over here, you can see it says notification approved. I'm going to hit next. And you also see on the bottom, it added the uh, new one for me. If you've never used this before, it'll be the only one you have. Successful. Click on done. Then you're going to get this screen on your computer saying Palo Alto authentication complete. Global Protect will then connect. If it doesn't connect within a minute or two, you can click right over here to click on, click here to launch Global Protect, but usually it takes about a minute. That's all there is to it. So every time you go into Global Protect, your cell phone, you're going to get that pop-up asking you to approve. Once you approve, it will connect. Thanks. Take care.